So recently on Twitter, I noticed Dave Voyles post this interesting tweet about uh, Google's new site for low polygon models. Um, the site has various models that can be used for uh, 3D games development and I got wondering if they could be possibly converted to something that I could use in Sega Mega Drive stroke Genesis development. So here I am on the Poly site. See there's plenty of models on here. I don't know if all of them are free. Some of them I've noticed don't actually have the models with them. They just have the GIF 3D renders. So I found this fox. Wait for this to load. So you can look at the fox from any angle, um, which is nice. You can download the model itself, which is what I do here, and I have a bit of a play with the model in a second. And you can also download a GIF, which I also download as well, uh, four, four is it eight times the speed, and then yeah, the lower resolution. You don't need it in widescreen, well, not for the Mega Drive anyway. So let's have a look at that model in Windows 10 3D Paint, Paint 3D. What do you want to call it? So I've got to find its textures. There we go. And now I'm going to just get into the view so I can look at it as a 3D render. Here we go. Right. So we can move it about. And we can also rotate it. And we can also fiddle with the textures. So I'm of the understanding that I could downgrade the textures to be more Genesis friendly um, because obviously at the moment there's probably way way too many colours um, but if I can change the actual model itself that'll be excellent. So on this occasion we're really not fussed about the model itself I'm going to use the GIF so I've gone to this site called Easy GIF in order to split the GIF down into its separate frames of animation because then doing that I can edit each individual frame and modify it so it will work with the Mega Drive. Um, so for starts I'm going to have to get rid of the uh, gradient background because if I'm downgrading to 16 colours um, that background gradient is going to just cause me hell. So here are all the split up images and I'm going to open one in Fireworks and I'm going to use the magic wand tool to try and remove that gradient. It seems to be fairly straightforward on this one. And then what am I going to do after I've got rid of the gradient is export as a 16 colour PNG. And what I'm also going to do is up the dithering to 100%. So I'm going to do that for every single frame of the animation. So here we have all the files done, all the gradients removed, and now I'm going to use GIMP to do some palette editing. Um, what I need to do is to get white to be the first colour in each of the palettes of each image. Um, because the way the SDK works is, SGDK works, is that it uses colour zero as transparent in each 16 colour palette. So. I have to batch process the whole lot initially to get the ordering and then I have to manually go in and drag white to the front of the palette which you'll see me do in a second. So here we go, we're just batch processing those and then we'll open up the first frame. There we go, so you can see on this one black is the first colour which means that it will make the image look a bit naff. So if I drag white to the front, OK. Overwrite, so now we know that white is the transparent. Right, so now we're on to batch Photoshop operations. So I've set up something called an action which does a series of things to a image. So what I'm doing here is trimming the image canvas and then resizing it to a size that's acceptable for the Mega Drive. So we've got 184 by 144 which is obviously a divisible of 8. So this is the batch process and here you can see all the settings you don't really need to know and you click OK and away we go. So this is resizing, cropping and resizing every image.
So here are the resized images all ready to go. Scroll through, look at the animation we've got. So on to the final bit. So I have a predefined project called Fox that we're going to put all these animation frames into. So if we go into the video directory and copy this across. We'll now open up the project in code blocks. I can, you can see I can, I've already predefined all the um, frames of animation in the array and also put them in the graphics resource file here. So we're ready to build basically. So if I build this. see it compressing and generating all the tiles and if we open it in the emulator ta-da! one 3D rotating fox! how impressive is that? <laughs> okay yeah less of the sarcasm we can also in increase and decrease the frame rate of the fox in the same way we can the video because it's basically using the same engine as I use for my FMV videos which is pretty handy on the whole but you could y actually use this to make sprites I think for games potentially which would be really interesting and it's something I really do want to look into at some point so thank you for watching this video